What's going on guys, Mix it here and welcome to my cocktail of vlog channel. I am continuing on with the mocktails. So this is your one of the favourite This is one of the most popular cocktails on demand, the Porn Star Martini. And that got me thinking, can we enjoy this cocktail without the booze in it and make this a mocktail? So I will show you the Porn Star Martini and mocktail version. So let's get straight into this. So get your shaker and put on some ice. To substitute the vanilla and vodka, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a lemonade for mine. And then I'm going to put in a bit more vanilla syrup to make up for the vanilla notes to give it that familiar taste. So 30ml or one ounce of lemonade. So to make up for the Pessoa, I'm using Rubicon, which is a passion fruit soft drink. So 20 mil, just under three quarters of an ounce. Next, a familiar ingredient this time. 20 mil, just under three quarters of an ounce of a passion fruit puree or passion fruit syrup. Next up, vanilla syrup. So I'm going to use a bit more than I normally would in the original passion, in the original porn star martini recipe. So instead of 10ml, I'm going to use 20ml to get those sweet vanilla notes, uh, to get that sweet vanilla taste. So 20ml, just under three quarters of an ounce. And the last ingredient into the tin, guys, is 50ml or half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. So instead of using egg whites, I'm going to use my Miraculous Better Bitters. I just love Better Bitters, especially this Miraculous Foam Wrap, as it is the best. So we'll put in two pipettes as I want, nice and foamy. So I'll put your lid on now, give it a good shake, eight to 10 seconds to get nice and chilled. And then we might do the dry shake afterwards, the reverse dry shake. So I'll show you uh, with just one shape what it looks like in a coupe glass. So get your coupe glass and strain into it. So get your coupe glass and strain. So as you can see, it's not got much of a head on it. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it back in the tin and do the dry shake. So that will give it more of a head as I will show you now. So I'll just show you now. I've removed the ice, I'm going to do a dry shake now. So get your coupe glass and strain into it. There we go. So as you can see, we've got a much better foam now. Now we've done the dry shake with it as well. What we're going to do now, guys, is go and shake with a passion fruit. And there we go. One Porn Star Martini Mocktail version. I can't wait to try it. So as you can tell there, it's a lot different from the, passion, from the normal Porn Star Martini. Uh, that famous orange colour that I normally go for. There's a lot darker this one. 
So there we have it, one passion fruit martini mocktail. How does it differ? How does this taste? I can't wait to try this. Mmm. It's still very sweet, that. But you can tell it's different. It's still very drinkable. That is very, very nice. But it's certainly recommended. It. It's a mocktail. That is absolutely delicious. Give that a solid rating, 9 out of 10. But it just lacks that something different from the alcoholic version of it, that vanilla vodka. But it's still very sweet, and if you've got a sweet tooth, you'll love this mocktail version without that alcohol. So if you're doing dry January, try my recipe, see what you think. Mm. Absolutely delicious, that. But that, guys, is my Porn Star Martini mocktail version. Do let me know in the comments below if you want to try this recipe, what you think of it, or any recommendations to the recipe. Is there anything I should alter? Or if you've got any better alternatives, uh, no ingredients, then make this taste 10 out of 10. But I certainly rate this very high. But I've been Mixed. This has been the Porn Star Martini mocktail. Don't forget to like and subscribe to mix it for more mocktails like this, as it really does help the channel to grow. So I do appreciate it as I will see you guys for my next mocktail, which will be Roy Rogers, doesn't everyone? Here's to January. Cheers.